Hey everyone, Not Free Mama here. Today I'm going to show you how to make chocolate chip wow butter bread. Okay, let's start off with our ingredients. First you need one and three-fourths cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, one-fourth cup, which is a half a stick, of unsalted butter, and you want to make sure that is softened to room temperature. Then you need a half a cup of firmly packed light brown sugar, a half a cup of creamy wow butter, one large egg, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, three-fourths cup buttermilk, and then three-fourths cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Um, I'm using the little minis. Now, don't freak out if you don't have buttermilk. I don't either. So what I'm using is two and one-fourths teaspoon of lemon juice, and then you fill milk the rest of the way to three-fourths of a cup. And you mix that together and let it sit five minutes. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Go ahead and take your two and one-fourths teaspoon of lemon juice, put it into, I'm just going to put mine into a one-cup uh, measuring cup right here, and then just fill it the rest of the way with milk until it reaches three-fourths cup. All right, mine is all mixed here, so I'm just going to let it sit while I do um, mix everything else, and um, your five minutes should be up by then. So go ahead and take a nine by five loaf pan, and you want to go ahead and spray that generously with cooking spray so it doesn't stick. And then go ahead and preheat our oven to 350. All right, next we are going to take our flour, our baking soda, our baking powder, and our salt, and whisk that together in a bowl and just set it to the side. All right, so next with an electric mixer on medium speed, you want to beat your butter, brown sugar, and wow butter until it is nice and combined. All right, that looks and smells amazing. So we are going to add our egg and our vanilla extract and mix it again. Okay, I went ahead and scraped down my sides and made sure everything was mixed up well. So now we are going to alternate um, three parts flour to two parts buttermilk. So just go ahead and put a third of your flour mixture in with half of your buttermilk and just keep doing that. So you start with the flour mixture and end with the flour mixture. And you want to do that on low speed until it's combined. All right, that looks perfect. So I went ahead and took my spatula and just scraped down my sides and just made sure you know all the flour mixture is incorporated. So next we are going to fold in our chocolate chips. All right, after you've mixed in your chocolate chips, you can just add it into your loaf pan and just, I did it with a spatula and just kind of pushed it down a little just to make it even. Now we're going to go ahead and bake it for 50 to 55 minutes or until it is golden brown and a toothpick comes out clean. All right, mine was in there for exactly 50 minutes and it has come out. I inserted a toothpick and it came out clean. So now I'm going to go around the edges with a butter knife and cool it on a cooling rack. All right, that looks and smells delicious. We'll have it cool off and then we'll have taste tester have a little taste. All right, I cut taste tester off a little piece. Let's see what he thinks. Here, taste tester. Have a little taste. Yum, yum. Do you like it? Yes. All right, everyone, come back and see us again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.